According to historian Jane Payton, men have women to thank for creating beer. Now, apparently, over 200 years ago, uh, women were the ones who operated breweries because beer was considered food and therefore a woman's work. So beer is one thing, but what else do you think men have to thank us for, Carol? I knew I was born at the wrong time. <laughs> <laughs> I just knew it. Um, well, I, I, I actually think that men should thank women for life itself. Yep. Oh, yeah, because yeah. When, when you think about it, every single man on this planet was created, I mean, not entirely, but mostly manufactured by a woman. Manufactured. So therefore, <laughs> well, here you are. You're like a little factory, Sweet. aren't you? You're making, you're, you're creating, yes, you're, you've, it's, 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 it's alive and it's growing and yeah. you're actually manufacturing a little human being. So... Women, when you think about it, have the ultimate power, don't they? Because if we wanted to end the human race, we could. Yes. Keep our we had, yeah. So you ought to be grateful. <laughs> yeah. Say thanks now and again. Well, actually, I think you're right. But I think also for life, because my ex, who has, and this is how stupid men are, because they won't say that you know they want help or anything. <laughs> no, but they, they don't say they want help. He ha he was in Spain and I was here. And he had uh, appendicitis, but he, didn't, he wouldn't admit that he'd got... How stupid is that? He wouldn't admit it. So he kept putting hot water bottles on his stomach. And in the end, it got worse and worse, so he couldn't even breathe because of the pain. So I said to my friend, go round, because I don't know what the hell's happening. He had peritonitis. And he That's got serious. there, a couple of hours to live, and boom. Fortunately for him, he lived. <laughs> <laughs> Sherry, move me swiftly on to um, <laughs> empathy, because that's what I was going to say, that I, I think that, you know, men have to thank women for, because I don't think men are as empathetic as, as women, you know, for example, you know, Steve, he's, he's Steve's a builder, big guy, drives a van, gets a little bit cross behind the wheel sometimes, and, uh, you know, sometimes he would say, oh, come on, woman, move, oh, that's, actually, my dad sounds like that. So he would say it in not a Scottish accent. Um, and, and I'll say to him, why are you being... Maybe she's got a baby in the back of the car. You know, maybe it's, just back off a little bit. Just, you know, think of other people. Just because you're in a rush doesn't mean you have to take it out on the rest of the world. So, so calm him once down. he's well, no, once he's screeched to a halt, throw me out and driven it off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, yeah, he's a lot calmer. Well, can I just say, I've got to say, one of my old boyfriends, um, he'd never had tuna till he met me. And I taught him about food, wine, changed his wardrobe. Did ever like a My Fair Lady job on him, and then uh, he left me. Oh. <laughs> oh. I improved him. I improved him, yeah. I educated oh, him about fine wine. wines, nice restaurants. And Carol, good did taste. you teach Mark about how to use a knife and fork? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's potty trained then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're talking about potty trading. I have to say, we do keep men clean, don't we? They're not the cleanest people in the world. They always smell, don't they? And you have to. No, it's true. No, no not always. No, don't. I'm generalising. But of a general statement. Of course. Sherry. But you know what? They don't think about having a shower every morning, do they? And every night, like we do, they're you not as clean as some they... dirty men yeah. in your time, yeah. Sherry. <laughs> no, I wish I had. <laughs> It's never too late, Sherry. Uh, also snapped out and about this week was Gary Lineker and his son, George. And there does seem to be a rather uncanny resemblance between the pair. Uh, the papers have pointed out George even has Gary's trademark ears. Look at his little ears. Um, oh, okay, look at his ears. Um, so he's... Uh, listen, I can't even get even into the topic of ears. That's why my hair is always down. Uh, I'd give Gary Lineker a run for his money. Shut up! <laughs> okay. <laughs> So he certainly inherited uh, Gary's genes, but are we slaves to our DNA? Um, I've got to say, I take after my mum. Um, I've got some really good qualities in my mum's, and the fact that we can laugh in the face of adversity. If anything goes terribly wrong or we have a drama, we always manage to find a joke out of it, so we've got humour. Um, but I've got the Riley belly. <laughs> belly? Belly. My mum, my auntie and my nan... They've all got these big bellies, right? My mum can be really slim, but she gets a belly on. And when I turned 30, I looked down, the belly was there. <laughs> <laughs> and I think, my good, where did that suddenly come from? Oh, so that's... What um, is it? Do you, is it like, that? if you put a needle in it, it would just pop and go... Yeah. Oh, you know what? I wish it would. <laughs> <laughs> I, have I, have to my, say, I think my dad 
um, I think they always say I take after my dad and my grandmother. I'm kind of soft and silly and, 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 you know, he was very funny and he was very giving and just wanted everybody to be happy and have a lovely time and no arguments and no aggravate, you know, nobody shouting or anything. But having said that on the other side of me, I have my mother who is a strong, vibrant woman and a, a, a real work ethic. You know, I've worked all my life and I always would and I always will and I always intend to look after everybody. Whatever it takes, I look after everybody on the planet. And, you know, and I, but, nice. but that's part of me. They so sound like lovely traits. I think I've got both of them mm. and that's fantastic. And that's, I think we all have, haven't we? Don't we take bits of... Each, you know, part of the family. Of course you do. Everybody's a mishmash, aren't they? Of course they are. Two people or, you know, in fact, you know, ancestors as well. You know, you, you inherit all of those things. I think in our family, the only thing that we've all got in common is that we're all tall. And that's the one thing that people always say to me when I meet, when I meet them. They always say, oh, my God, you're tall. And I go, no, 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 you're short. <laughs> You know, like I don't know. Yeah, I know I am tall. I'm nearly five foot ten. But we're all tall, and we're all we all we're all partial to a drink now and again. <laughs> and listen, she's, no, blaming it. <laughs> she's blaming the jeans here for this. Listen, I'm not blaming them for anything. I'm glad. I'm happy with that situation because we're not. You know, we're not all total drunks or alcoholics, Ooh. but we like a drink. But is it, isn't that the kind of thing that you, you could turn your back to certain traits that come through your, your family? I mean, you, I mean, Sherry, you mentioned some lovely ones there, but, you know, I know in, in my family there's been um, maybe certain members in, in my family's past that maybe haven't behaved quite as nicely as they could have well, done. of course. Um, yeah. And I know, for example, my, my dad, through, through uh, you know, his, his family, he's always tried to act as well as, as he could and be as, um, I don't know, work as hard as he could, be the best husband and father and what have you that, that he could be, almost to make sure that he doesn't repeat what, how so his So you're dad saying you can, you can, you can have these genetic traits, but some you can try can. and fight against them. Yeah, I think some I people that's can. That's genetic, though. That's kind of learned behaviour, though, isn't it? If you, you can, you can, you know, certain people behave in a certain way. I, I agree that there are certain uh, patterns of behaviour that look like they've been inherited because they're so repetitive yeah. hmm. and they should be avoided. But you can't, sometimes you can't help it. So I, I do so know what you mean. So can we later then? Yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're off to a cracking start to the